tested positive for it. So you still want them to play with the heart condition? And we're still just barely learning about the long-term ramifications. It's like, oh, wait, these are real issues creeping up. And this kid is, what, a sophomore? He's, he's barely getting started. Well, like <clears throat> 20 years old, 21 years old? Yeah, around that time. It's like, oh, yeah, he'll, he's young. One of my favorite excuses. He's young. He'll heal. Explain to me what heals in time. The older you get. Nothing. Okay, just, just checking. I'm pretty sure my ankle was way healthier 10 years ago. Oh, I thought you were talking about all your emotional wounds. That too. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. See, he gets it. He gets it. I'm not saying anything. I've been here for a couple of weeks. I know this is an emotional time. <laughs> these are some These are some interesting times we're in right now. Oh, and pretty much uh, probably one of the greatest lines, and Pete can attest this because I've always wanted to swear in a headline in college. But I don't think I got the chance. I think I did. I don't remember, though. But North Carolina, the Daily Tar Heel, came out with a story, an uh, editorial, pretty much saying, we knew this was going to happen. We told you this was going to happen. And you didn't listen. And I'm just going to retitle it, UNC COVID-19 Mick Clusterfuck scandal leaves kids with dorm debt and no place to res- uh, no place to rest. I fucked up my own headline. Wow! <laughs> but this is what that. everybody has I forgot been how to saying. Read. This is Pete's fault. This is what everybody's been saying that ever since, like right is the first rebuttal of the hashtag we want to play. It's not necessarily the players that are going to be safe because yes, they're safe if they're on a bubble and they're working out and they're in the gym. It's everybody else. It's everybody. And how in the world are you going to tell college kids? Don't go out, have fun, fornicate, all this stuff. That is part of college life. We've all done it. We've been there. If you haven't done it, you haven't done it right. And unfortunately, now it's COVID-19. This is going to happen. And you can do it, but you're going to be a real fucking cowboy, like if you survive. Yeah. I wouldn't suggest you do it. But if you do it and survive, <laughs> I'll shake your hand. <laughs> the shit that we were doing in college... That's another I'm, episode. That's that, yeah, that's the 200th episode. That might be the 201st episode. When all the dust and that's smoke That's the hangover settles. of the 200th yes. episode. Yes. <laughs> that's our come to Jesus episode. <laughs> like, honestly, though, they were showing videos of kids in house parties in Georgia. Like, first they showed the high school in Georgia. Then they were showing parties. They were showing parties in Kentucky. They were showing the University of Northern Georgia, which why the fuck is there a Northern Georgia University? That was a serious question. Like for anyone at the table who wants to I, I, I entertain it, I, I've never been to Georgia. And why do I need to go to Northern Georgia University again? Like that feels say, like ITT Tech of the South. There's Georgia and there's Atlanta. Thank you. There's Atlanta and then there's Georgia. Just Clint. like yeah, it's like there's Miami and there's Florida. Yep. There's, there's Liberty City. There's Texas and there's Austin. Right. There's there's Texas and then there's Dallas. There's Salt Lake and Houston and there's Utah. Like and there's there's Boise and then there's Idaho. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Oh, like there's Long Beach and then there's Compton. But uh, it, no, th- those are they're cl- they're they're yin and yang. Uh, Which are you, you sure come about? Up. Yeah, it is. But there's a certain part of Gardena that you go down and you can end up in Long Beach and Compton depending on if you make a left or a right. Okay. Right. But Compton's on the come up. I'm not saying it isn't, but I'm just saying one of these things is not like the other. One of these things might be like the other, but either way, you're going to you better know where you at. And I mean, that's when it comes anywhere, to North Georgia that's University, Southern California pretty much. Yeah, but what it bringing back to North Georgia University where they're having massive outbreaks and it's a fucking cornucopia of everybody testing positive for stuff. Is Imagine what the University of Georgia, ha. Imagine what the University of Georgia, how they're going to handle that. Now you look at the University of North Carolina, you think they're not partying in North Carolina? But what else is there to do? So you factor that in. The uh, school pretty much had like 135 cases When they opened the school, kids already were forced to pay the deadline to live in the dorms. 
they have to make those payments and then they kick everybody out the dorms and make everything online and then say, oh, well, we're not going to do any athletic testing until August or we're not doing anything athletic events or testing or working out or whatever till like 5 p.m. on August 20th. Okay. And then like one of the regents came out and blamed all the students. They're saying they're partying and this is their fault. I'm like, dude, it's a pandemic. They're doing what they fucking yeah. do. You you brought them back to school. You enabled them, and then you and then you fuck them because essentially they're paying to live in the dorms they can't stay in. And I saw one of the little struggle snacks that they left those. Pete, I tweeted you. Did yeah, you see them struggle, yeah. bro? I was broke as fuck in Northridge in Cal State Northridge dorms. Pete can attest to it because he was broke as fuck in his apartment, and. All our other friends can attest to it. We were broke in our apartments and our dorm rooms. My food stayed stacked. Shout out to my mom. She taught me how to shop and stretch $65 uh, three months. Unbelievable. By the way, if you're a college kid, if dorms ever come back, just go to Smart and Final Extra, buy everything in bulk, and try not to smoke and eat all your weed up. And I tell you what, you drop an egg and some ramen noodles, there's some nutrients in that. Indeed. And sometimes it's okay to just eat it straight out the package. Don't do the cup. Don't eat it, the cup one, though. It's not like potato chips, man. <laughs> no. I've, seen, I've had roommates literally eat ramen with no hot water. The first person to ever tell me about dropping an egg in top ramen were like, when I lived, when my first year in college, I lived in. Shit, delicious, though. Like a satellite fraternity house. And like, we had a bunch of different Craigslist roommates come in and out. And we had these two music- musicians from Chicago who worked in restaurants. And these old, like, 40-year-old dudes who were living in this college house were the first ones to put me on the game about ramen with an egg in it. And my life has never been the same since. Oh, yeah, man. Throw Your whole fr- life has fro- changed? Throw some yeah. veg in there, too. Man. So, so shout out to those struggling musicians, wherever the fuck they are. Hey, shout out to me. <laughs> I think they still owe us rent, actually. <laughs> <laughs> They fed you, dog. Yeah. That was the gift they gave you. They told you how to take an egg and some soup and live. They yeah, told us how to get by for another 20 years. <laughs> Pretty much. Sometimes in the poverty meals be some of the best meals, especially when you have money and you're like, I don't even need to eat this right now. I could actually like love myself and get a good meal. Nah, let me get some, some um, top ramen, some corn, some tuna, some crackers. And eat this like it's fucking porridge for like three days. Oh my God. All right. Yes, I'm coming from clearly a personal space. No, <laughs> but just... nah, but UNC, the football team, that affects them because, I mean, if you can't live in the dorms. People are being forced to pay all this money, essentially the price of a luxury apartment to live in dorms that you've been kicked out of and you have to do distance learning. You just screwed over – the entire school and shout out to the daily Tar Heel for calling out the school for that. Also next, uh, conference USA, they're leaning towards mandatory three times a week, COVID-19 testing during competition weeks, which is interesting because why the fuck is conference USA even still competing? Who are they beat? Who are they going to beat this year? What they have Houston? Like who is the conference USA beating? It's like, bro, did you not see the PAC 12, the big 10, the um, uh, Mountain West, all these other conferences that are way better than you, they crapped out. Why are you still here? <laughs> are you realize? Oh wait, you're getting paid to just get blown out by all these other conferences. That's kind of gross. Like Conference USA is just all their teams are going to get smutted out by Alabama and whoever else they're playing. But yeah, so that if they do that testing, if it's approved. It would essentially put them on par with the Big 12 as, like, the most progressive and intense forms of COVID-19 testing, even though the Big 12 just reported, like, 40 new cases. They got money like that, but okay. Yeah, Conference USA, I'm confused. I'm so confused. But also, um, UAB, they've been constantly reporting how they literally tested, like, 186 people, and nobody tested positive for, like, the past three weeks. So, is it just one big pool, or is it multiple pools for different sections of the country? For Conference USA? Just for football. Like NFL, I guess. It's kind of just... They they want to make sure that everybody's getting tested and that they can say, look, we did what we're supposed to do. But realistically, all it takes is one person. 
They test everyone yeah. in the facility. And it's not really bubbled off. Like, they kind of are trying to bubble off. But college football had literally longer than anybody to plan this out. Longer than everyone. Well, it's just hard because there's so many college teams. There's like 100-something college teams. So. 40 almost. And then there's like, what, how many? There's five big conferences and there's like another. Three. Uh, well, I'm just saying. Another three regardless. other conferences outside of the big five. I feel like there's more than that even. The American Alliance Conference, Conference USA, Mountain West. And then you got all the other smaller conferences. WAC the, and the WAC. Oh, the WAC got dissolved. The MIAC, oh, yeah. the. Oh, yeah. All those. Big Sky. Yeah, now we're talking divisions of football. But I'm just saying, in general, there's a bunch of different levels of it. So it's like you can't really. Like, like you can't make. The big conferences go in a bubble, and then like the other ones are just shit out the dry. Like, nevertheless, there's a lot more players in, on a college football team than, than even the NFL too. Because yeah, NFL only has a 53 man roster, and 90 think, guys on scholarship plus trainers plus coaches plus the coaches' families if they're nearby. Plus, if they live in a small town, you almost have to perpetually get tested like four or five times a day. Yeah, so that's a lot. Yeah. It's a, it's a huge it's a amount. Money just in testing it there, and I don't know how the conference USA has this money and where they where where's it coming from. Like, it's the point. I've never seen anyone from Conference USA like contend for a national title. So there. But anyway, on to the next story. Florida State is allowing tailgating. What? <laughs> Tallahassee, here I come again, Florida. God's gooch. <laughs> I mean, let's just let's just purposely make all these really good decisions. You know, let's party <laughs> here. Who cares what's going to happen? Let's party. I don't even want to be rude, but I'm pretty sure Tallahassee's just used to infectious diseases now. And, it's and FSU, I feel like they probably mm-hmm. s- sold all their antibiotics for that two year run they had. Like, I'm pretty sure FSU actually has a really great medical program. Shout out to Myron Roll. But I'm just pretty sure they're used to catching really disgusting diseases and either passing them on to people or finding a way to cure it because it's Florida. If and there's a cure, I'm pretty to... sure Jameis Winston picked it up and walked out without paying for it. Wow. <laughs> I mean, the, the button's right there. You can just press it yourself. I don't know which one it is. Not that much. No, that's, that's, the, bad. that's the song that was playing when he stole the crab legs out of Publix. There we go. Some of them are long. <laughs> Yeah. You might want to double tap that, sir. <laughs> rule twenty two, double tap. I think that's rule twenty two. I think that's rule. All two. right, this is the longest but, five minutes of my life. That's what we're gonna call the college football spot now. Yes. The five longest minutes. five minutes. <laughs> Wasn't college the longest five <laughs> minutes of your life? I think he still has two more things to go. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be so quick. Watch this. Damn, that was good. Touche. Touche. <laughs> But in a connected story, uh, FSU, there was one of the receivers pretty much came out and said, you know, the coaches are lying to us about this testing. Well, one receiver tested positive and tweeted it out last week, and then they were forced to take the tweets down, and now there's an issue with Mike Norvell. So, yeah, Florida State just going to Florida State itself. Did they change their mascot or anything? The Seminole? Yeah, did they no. do No, they 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 actually have permission to be called the Seminoles. They they mm. they actually have are in contract with the tribe to be the Seminoles. Yeah, mm. but the issue is I don't think they do the halftime performances as much. But the issue is they want to change the name of the stadium cuz it's mad racist. What's the name of the stadium? Uh, uh that's not Duke Walker, that's the other one. Let's find out. It might be Doak Walker. No, is Doak Walker the Florida one? No, the Florida one is the Orange Bowl. No, that's Miami. Oh, yeah, you're right. Um, It was the Florida University Stadium? Florida State. 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 Doak Campbell. Doak, there we go. Super racist. And he was super racist. They want to change it to like a famous black alumni, a former player. So they would have to call it Deion Sanders Brooks. (laughs) Deion Sanders slash nah, Derek. Deion's on Barstool now. It's called Primetime Stadium there. <laughs> yeah, Primetime Brook Stadium. <laughs> and then they have a picture of him and his, and his songs back in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, and his, and his high-top Nikes. Oh, God, that'd be awesome. Chris <laughs> Winkie somewhere. But, yeah, 
So in addition, actually, to- I saw Chris Winkie play in the first uh, BCS championship in in uh, Tempe Diablo Stadium against Tennessee. That was a uh, oh, shout, shout out, shout out. Cool Wasn't he like thirty eight? 